Hello my dears and welcome back. Today is Vlogmas Day 20 and we are just hanging out. We kind of just got up if you can't tell. I'm wearing the clothes from Vlogmas Day 18. If you haven't already watched that, we did like... What are you doing? We did like um, a nighttime life after Wilder goes to bed. So if you guys are interested, it's right here. But yeah, this is that shirt. Anyways, we just got up. We just got going. Um, thankfully, Wilder slept in a little bit. So I could sleep in a little bit, huh? Did you know Mommy was tired? Yeah. We are still like have that crud sickness whatever it is why am i sticky garrick is at work and i really miss him i wish he was home he didn't get any sleep last night again because wilder was just up all night we tried putting him in our bed that didn't work i was just up with him like pretty much every 30 minutes last night so that's why i look like this explains the double bags under my eyes yeah double bags I always have bags under my eyes, but I feel like today it's double. So something I really want to accomplish today, and I'm going to say this out loud so it holds me accountable. Um, I really want to organize the new baby stuff. What is on my face? I can't, oh my God, I can't stand when hair is on my face. But yeah, I want to just organize the new baby stuff and go through everything. So maybe I'll get to doing that today, especially since I just said it. Maybe I'll do it. Nom, 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 I don't actually want it. I don't want it. Thank you, though. Yeah, thank you. I really hope that this sickness, or whatever it is, goes away by the time the new baby is here. I'm sure it will because we still have, like, three more weeks. But, dang, we've been sick for literally, like, two weeks already. And it just, it sucks. It really, really sucks. Especially come nighttime because then you're like running on no sleep. And I can't drink coffee. Well, I mean, I guess I could. Oh my goodness, you got a sugar buzz? Sugar buzz? I need some energy. Mommy needs some energy. You give mommy some energy, huh? I think the reason that he's not sleeping at night is because he like can't really breathe very well and he's laying down in his crib like flat, you know, so. The past few nights we put him in our bed and kind of like propped him up and he slept a lot better like that, but he doesn't sleep very well in our bed most of the time, so that is an issue. Hey buddy, is that so yummy? Yeah. So right now, I'm just putting some wax in our burner. I just feel like if you have a good scent in your house that you like, it just feels more like home. I don't know. I'm just going to cut up some broccoli for Wilder so he can chill out and just have a snack. That's not dad, that's broccoli. Huh, so yummy. I think I got lucky with a child that really likes um, vegetables because I know that a lot of people have trouble, um, you know, feeding their kids vegetables or fruit or vice versa and he's just so good like we've never had to worry about him not eating or <clears throat> you know doing the choo-choo train or anything like that and I strongly believe that it's because we did the baby led weaning method and I think I have a video um, when we first started and like information on it if anyone's interested but yeah he is such a good eater like we don't have to worry at all I don't know if you guys can tell but I look super super sick and I'm feeling a lot better it's just it's annoying that it's still there you know I just want to sleep I'm so tired I'm so exhausted 
I don't want to sit here and lie to you guys and like try to act a certain way or something. I just feel like sometimes moms have a breaking point whether you're sick, you're pregnant, you're not. Even if none of those even occur, like you're just being a mom is tiring and I feel like I'm at that point where I have no energy left and you can probably see it all over my face. But yeah, and it's okay not to be okay. I say that all the time on my channel, but it's okay not to be okay all the time. And I just feel like as a mom, especially YouTubers, like there's a lot of people that just try to you know make motherhood seem like it's this perfect thing which it is it's beautiful and it is perfect in its own way but there's so many struggles that aren't talked about and I'm going on a rant now but I just feel like it's important to be so authentic when you're making YouTube videos like this especially when it comes to motherhood because there's a lot of you know younger audience that is watching and I feel like it's important to you know express the feelings not only the good but the bad as well and it's just it's not a bad day it's just I'm tired I'm exhausted and I don't want to hide that from you guys yeah I can't wait for Garrick to get home I know he's really tired too we were both like up all night during the week I do take Wilder um, like whenever he wakes up in the middle of the night or like anything like that I make his bottles I do like everything during the week because I know that he works and he has to have a full night's rest to be able to you know have a good work performance and I get that and so it's just been me kind of waking up with him but last night he knew how exhausted I was and he got up with me several times which is so great I feel like it's so important to have a partner like that that understands you know that motherhood is not always easy at all even though a lot of people see stay-at-home moms as like oh all they do is stay at home and play with their kids and do this and do that and get to do this and that and whatever but being a stay-at-home mom is not like what it's drawn out to be all the time like it is a hard job, it's the most rewarding job, but it's the hardest job I've ever had. I am extremely lucky and I'm so blessed that I'm able to stay home, but at the same time you can't take away from, you know, the fact that being a stay at home mom is hard sometimes. And today's one of those harder days because I am so exhausted. One of those days. I try to promote as much positivity as I can on my channel, so I'm not trying to you know not do that I'm not trying to complain or what have you I'm just being real so I'm just sitting here cuddling Wilder because he's really not feeling good right now I think it's a mixture of like teething and obviously he's still sick he's got a cold and I'm like trying to keep him occupied with this Santa but I feel so bad I put him in this like oversized t-shirt and I don't know what it is but him in like a diaper and oversized t-shirt is the cutest freaking thing to me. But anyways, I wanted to share something with you guys. I read something today that's kind of just stuck with me all day long and it says, Someday you will wake up and the house will be clean, but your babies will be all grown up and on their own. Enjoy the mess and enjoy your kids. They're only babies once. And just reading that, just... I don't know it spoke to me and I feel like I'm so caught up all the time in like cleaning and making sure the house is like spotless and you know it just takes away from the time that I have with Wilder and I don't need to be focused on that 24 7 and especially now since we've all been sick I've been like sick and I'm nesting I've just been <laughs> wanting to clean all the time but you just need my cuddles huh yeah we just need to cuddle and so i've just been holding on to that because i know he doesn't feel good don't eat santa silly i know you don't like him but you don't eat him silly goose i love you Off.
five at once. So we're still in the same spot. We have not moved. Um, we're both just not feeling good at all. Garrick is finally on his way home. Um, Wilder's just sitting here enjoying himself some cherries. Oh, you want me to open them? Okay. Uh, these are like dried cherries and they're one of his favorites. So I pulled them out because he's not feeling good. But we're just cuddled up on the couch. We're watching Tarzan. And I'm just really kind of enjoying just sitting here and like enjoying the company of him even though we're both like miserable it's i swear it gets worse at night garrick um just texted me and said that he's feeling better so and he got the sickness first so hopefully we start feeling better here in the next few days or by tomorrow that would be nice but yeah like i said going off of that um quote that i told you guys earlier i'm just kind of putting off everything and just relaxing and enjoying time with Wilder and just not worrying about cleaning or focusing on anything. had to put Wilder to bed he was super cranky he just he was done for the night he had dinner and then he went to sleep and Garrick just got home so yeah it's been a night um he's just been super like lethargic and just like not feeling himself and I'm hoping this is like the last few days of our sickness like I said but anyways, he is off to bed. I put some like vapor rub on his feet and his chest, gave him some Motrin. So hopefully he sleeps a little bit better. I'm sure he'll be waking up here soon and I'll be in and out of his room, but I don't mind. Just as long as he starts feeling better, that's all I really care about. I might take him to the pediatrician again. I just, you guys know how many times we've been to the pediatrician. It's kind of repetitive and they say the same thing over and over, so... I guess we'll try to avoid that as best we can for now so we don't catch something else. But still, it's been over like two weeks now and we're still all sick. Well, like I said, Garrick, Garrick said that he's feeling a lot better. So hopefully, like I said, we will feel better. So Garrick just got home and we he put in the dresser that goes in the new baby's room. Mm -hmm. And we put the changing table on top of there, although it needs a cover. And I so... You dinged it up. Mm -hmm. Babe, why? It was an accident. It was in my truck. But I figured we would go ahead and put some of the baby's clothes in here. Um, this, like, changing station area isn't as big as Wilder's. So, we're going to have to put diapers probably yeah. in, oops, probably in this one or this one. This one. I'm not sure yet, but like supplies like that will go in there but it fits perfectly in this room oh babe this was wilder look how tiny we probably shouldn't be touching all of his clothes while we're sick i've already washed all of these clothes and pro I think I've watched them twice actually now. And we just got to thinking while we were folding all of them that we probably shouldn't be doing that while we're sick. Because our germs will get on these clothes. And yep. yeah, that's just not a good idea. So not a good. We put them all back and I shall rewash these probably for the third time. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we were using for like swaddles hats socks and stuff and yeah these need to be rewashed also <laughs> <coughs> and this needs to be cleaned out don't let me forget to clean that out babe that to sanitize way. all of these drawers now that we've put stuff in them we really suck babe we just put in, we're putting in more work for ourselves. 
I'm drinking lactose free milk and it's a little sweet. <laughs> Why? He got lactose free milk because he thought that it was dairy free. If you guys watch so our grocery haul, then you would know that he picked that up. I guess I didn't really know either. I'm not well, really educated on it. We have other, we had other milk, but I drank it all just recently. So now you're forced to drink it. Well, I don't want to go to the store, so this was what was in there. Let me show you how to eat a Dorito. <laughs> yeah, I said it. A Dorito. <laughs> Do I look different like today, babe? Mm -hmm. Did sick. your makeup differently? No, I, I look sickly. That's why. <laughs> That's what I meant. What are you grateful for today, babe? that I was able to figure out how to take out my HIDs and I changed out my brake so light. Close. Babe, I don't like this. I'm grateful for your blueberry jam again. Oh my Jesus. But also, oh, I'm grateful that you cleaned up. Thank you for doing that. Welcome, babe. It's what I do, I'm a G. There's oh this God. thing that says, someday you'll wake up and the house will be clean. But your babies will be all grown up and on their own. Enjoy the mess and your kids. They're only babies once. Oh, I was just trying to, like, remember that. And Wilder was really sick today, so I just kind of lounged around with him. But at the same time, I was looking at everything, so I appreciate you cleaning. No problem, babe. Also, some people have been asking why or what we're calling each other when we say babin. Oh, God. And where it originated from, and honestly, Garrick just makes up words all the time, and that one just kind of stuck for, like, a long time, so... My just... logical explanation at the time was when the first time you asked me what it meant, I was just like, what do you mean? Like, babe? In. Like, my babe in. Like, that, that's where you are. A little update on how my journey is going with being dairy-free. It is a lot harder than I anticipated. And what day is it? Day five. And it's just just the little things that you have to look at that you wouldn't even think have dairy in them. Have dairy in them. Anyways, we're going to go take a shower. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you have not already. Click that little notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. As always, we love you so much. Thank you so much for watching and supporting us. It seriously means the world. We love you. We love. See you tomorrow and keep, keep it Christmas. Christmas.